Hi there everybody, so in today's video I have this uh, BMW 1 Series 2005 this is an E87 um, I'm gonna be changing the fan belt alternator belt multi reed belt okay so the part number I got is this uh, this is a Daiko belt 6PK1873 and that will be the uh, the size, the correct size. Uh, gonna start by removing this, this part here. So it's only held in by two torques. I already undone them. It's uh, two what, T15s. Once you get that off, we can take this out. And we will have good access kind of good access to the belt which is down there uh, this is the belt here which I'm gonna be changing this is car this car is done um, 120,000 miles uh, but, but looking at the belt is is looking a little bit worn um, and that's the main reason I want to change it um, so we have the tensioner is just sitting here. Okay, so um, the tensioner, it's that one, that one there. It's got a 16 mil bolt on it, um, but also there's a small hole on the side. You can just about see that little entry there. So that little bit there um, allows you to put a, a drill bit or a pin to keep um, the tensioner open so we can remove the belt. Um, I mean you can also hold the um, tensioner, remove the belt and then release it and then do that um, process again. But it's, it's easier to keep the, the tensioner in a position that allows you to remove it and to refit the belt back. So I'm going to try and put a pin to hold it in position. And I'm going to try to <coughs> film a little bit from... Okay. Now also, before you... Um, before you remove anything, it's a good idea to make a little drawing of how the belt goes around. Because it's easy to forget and there's no need to spend hours trying to remember how it goes if you can just make a drawing. Okay. So, I've got a little drawing there, these are all the wheels that I have, these are the main ones, so I have an alternator there, that's the tensioner there, crankshaft, um, one of these is the AC um, and power steering is, is the other one, and that's just an idler wheel there, so this is how the belt goes around, it's not a perfect uh, schematic of, of that, but, um, but that's how it goes. Now I'm using a, a ratchet here with a 16 mil. I'm just gonna use uh, this pin here which is about five millimeters. You can use a five mil um, drill bit maybe. Okay so I'm gonna get this up here. The, uh, the bit in there. Don't know if that is. Uh, maybe you can't really see it from that angle, but I've 
got a bit in there so that's holding the tensioner in such a position that I can actually remove the belt without, without uh, any dramas so we can pull it out from here maybe Here we are. And just check that wheel a little bit. Sometimes they become noisy or they have some play. There's another idler wheel just sitting below the alternator, so just check that one too. Sometimes you can turn them and you'll hear if they're noisy as well, um, but this one seems okay. The belt, however, does look worn, or it looks like it's, it was melting a little bit or something so good idea to give it a little change and I may just clean the edge of this wheel here because it does look Looks like it's a bit of uh, rubber in there, or s s some melted melted rubber, or, or so. I rather this is clean than just leave it the way it was. Okay, so now I'm going to fit the belt. Just gonna refit it and just need to follow the drawing if you made one. Just go around the wheels. Okay, I've got the belt around everywhere now, and now I can release that tensioner.
Okay, so I'm just going to pull it towards the the right and I'm going to remove the pin that I've got in there. And um, I'm just uh, checking, making sure the belt is properly placed in all the wheels. And it looks like it is. So I'm just going to start the car now and uh, make sure that is uh, all okay. Okay, so that's running just fine. Uh, so the last bit will be to fit this uh, panel up here, and uh, which is not really difficult at all. So that's pretty much it, really. I hope this video helps, and um, thanks for watching.